Thank you, Amanda. Starting today, some high school students are going to have to return to the classroom if they want to pass this year. Yeah, that's because the Texas Education Agency requires students to take the STAR test in person. They can't do it from home. Candy Rodriguez is live from Anderson High School. And Candy, some families are worried because there are children who have been learning to, from home have to go to campus and they're thinking, is it a possibility they may be exposed to COVID-19? Yeah, Sally, Tom, good morning. And a lot of those students have been home during the entirety of this pandemic, learning virtually. And for some, it'll be the first time on campus. And Anderson High School here will be one of the many campuses across the Austin district that will welcome back high school students to take that STAR testing, which will include various subjects. At each campus, AISD will have COVID-19 guidelines in place. It's a similar story up in Georgetown ISD. District representatives there tell me they will spread out students at each campus. They have nearly 900 tests to administer, but that does not mean 900 students. G GISD officials say one student may have to take a test in various courses, for example, English and algebra. That would account for two tests. For one Georgetown ISD parent, when he first heard about the required on-campus testing, he was a little concerned for his 10th grader and the parent who did not want to be identified says his daughter has been learning virtually from home and that's because his wife is battling lung cancer but he remains hopeful everything today will be safe i'm confident the school is taking every precaution my daughter will go with her mask on a face shield and hand sanitizer i'm not worried and subjects include algebra, biology, history, and English for the STAR testing. It'll start today and it'll take about two weeks. Georgetown ISD tells me theirs will take about a week to complete. And TEA is allowing this in order for campuses across the area to socially distance students and obviously keep them safe. Sally? I, I cannot even imagine the pressure this year. Candy, thank you so much for that. Good luck to you if you're taking the test, by the way. We did check in with other school districts in our area about their social distancing strategy. Austin ISD says it will use plexiglass dividers. Students at Hayes ISD, you're going to take the test inside a gym or the library. Leander ISD will require students to actually take a health screening before coming onto campus. Well, later this morning, Austin teachers will have a new resource to help them talk through their concerns after getting denied to work from home in the spring. Austin ISD is launching a hotline for educators and staff. This comes after only 48 requests were approved 